Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform, but without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. Man, you do whatever you want. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? Say what? My pants, can I? Oh, hell no! This Fox unit is a nut fest! <laughs> I see you're wearing the Olive Drab uniform. Olive Drab, or OD for short, is the standard battle uniform for GIs. It's a solid color outfit with no camouflage pattern, so naturally it's not going to be much use as camouflage. I'd change into something else as soon as possible if I were you. You're wearing the tiger stripe pattern camouflage, huh? Tiger stripe is a forest camouflage. As you may have guessed by the name, it mimics the stripe pattern on a tiger's coat. It was originally worn by South Vietnamese Marines. Then it caught the attention of an American military advisor, and now they're thinking of introducing it into all kinds of special forces units. It works best in places with lots of trees and grass, but it should blend in with dirt and mud too. Wearing the leaf pattern camouflage, are you? Leaf pattern is a forest camouflage created to provide cover in woodland areas. Now that our involvement in Vietnam looks set to expand, they're thinking about adopting it for official use. It'll help you blend in especially well when you're hiding in the bushes. So you're wearing the tree bark camouflage. Tree bark is a forest pattern created primarily for use by hunters. It'll give you an exceptionally low profile if you wear it when you're pressed up against a tree. Ah, you're wearing the chocolate chip pattern. Chocolate chip? You mean this camouflage? Yeah. I've never heard of a camo pattern called that before. Yeah, I know. I just thought it up right now. The chocolate chip pattern is probably designed to provide cover in a desert environment. It should work best against a sandy or rocky background. Makes sense, but... Why'd you call it chocolate chip? Cause that's what it reminds me of. What? Those little round cookies the Major's always snacking on? They're not cookies, they're scones. Major! And it's not a snack, it's afternoon tea. Snack? Tea? Same thing? No, it's not. Look here, afternoon tea is a fine old English tradition. Uh-oh, here we go again. Talk to you later, Snake. The origins of afternoon tea go back to the Victorian era. Anna Maria, the seventh Duchess of Bedford, was... Looks like you're wearing the splitter pattern camo. Splitter was used quite a bit in World War II on German aircraft and stuff. The pattern helped mask the plane's attitude and direction in dogfights. Even now, it's still being used as camouflage in some places. It works best when you wear it against a steel or stone background. Wearing raindrop pattern camo, huh? Raindrop was used by Germany during World War II. Even now, it's still used a lot in Eastern Europe. It's designed to be especially inconspicuous in the rain, so you'll get the most out of it if you put it on during a downpour. Looks like you've got the squares pattern on. Squares is a mountain camo that's basically a bunch of square patterns. It might look conspicuous at first glance, but it actually blurs the contours of the person wearing it and makes them more difficult to pick out. It should give you a low profile against reddish backgrounds like bricks and rusty metal. Wearing the water pattern, are we? The water pattern was used a lot by the old German defense force. Even though it's called the water pattern, it wasn't designed specifically to blend in underwater. They only gave it that name because the pattern resembles the waves on the surface of a pool of water. But still, it really does look like it could be confused for liquid waves. It might conceal you underwater. Haha, <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations and stuff like that. But it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. And it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you'd find in swamps. The camo pattern you're wearing now is called snow. Snow, as you might have guessed, is a winter camouflage developed to provide cover in a snowy environment. It's not solid white, though. It's got a little bit of vegetation pattern mixed in, too. 
It should work pretty well if you wear it against a white background. Those are some funky clothes you're wearing. Yeah, it's called a sneaking suit. Sneaking suit? What's that all about? I'm not sure, but it looks like what the boss was wearing. Huh. Well, whatever it is, it's a fine piece of work. The suit seems to be made of some kind of special bulletproof fiber. Wearing it should reduce all the damage you take by half. The waterproofing and heat and moisture insulation are top-notch. Just having it on will reduce the amount of stamina you burn. It even increases your overall camo index. You got yourself a keeper, Snake. Yeah, maybe we should make it the official uniform of Fox. So you're wearing the scientist uniform. Wearing that scientist outfit lets you pose as a scientist. But be forewarned, you can't equip most of your weapons while you're disguised as a scientist. Even when you're disguised, your cover will be blown if you get blood on your clothes or something. If you do get blood on your clothes, take them off and switch to another outfit. The blood stain should come out after a little while. You're wearing Rykov's uniform? But the enemy already knows you disguised yourself as him and on top of that, you lost your cap. I don't think that disguise is going to fool anyone anymore. Besides, that uniform doesn't have any camouflage patterns so your camo index is going to be low. Don't you think you'd be better off wearing some other kind of gear? Snake, what are you wearing now? A uh, tuxedo? What, you late for a wedding or something? Come to think about it, the tuxedo is an all-black outfit. It'll probably help you blend in in a dark environment. One thing you can't do, though, is equip knife-type weapons. And you can't use CQC either. Remember that. Snake, what's that camouflage? It's called Hornet Stripe. I got it from the pain. No kidding. Sounds like a pretty unique design. From the looks of it, it's somehow infused with the power of hornets. The power of hornets? Sure. When you're wearing that outfit, hornets won't attack you. Neither will spiders or leeches. You might even be able to tame the ones that come flying out of a hive. Hey Snake, what's that you're wearing? It's spider camouflage. It used to belong to the fear. Is that right? Well, it's not as good as the stuff the Fear was wearing, but it still seems to have a pretty decent amount of stealth capability. From the looks of it, the wearer uses stamina to power the stealth function. With this thing on, your camo index will stay at a high level no matter where you go. But if you run out of stamina, the stealth function will stop working. Keep that in mind. Snake, what's that you're wearing? It's moss camouflage. I got it from the end. Interesting. It seems to have part of the end's power sealed within it. If you wear it in a place where the sun shines, you'll automatically recover stamina. It'll also give you a high rate of camouflage in Siviato Gorni and Sokrovieno, the end's home territory. Snake, what's that you're wearing now? It's fire camouflage. The Fury had it on him. That camouflage seems to have fire-resistant properties. When you wear it, you'll only take half damage from flames and explosions, you won't ever get burned, either. Sounds like something the Fury would use, all right. Uh, that's some bizarre camo you got on, Snake. It's spirit camo. I think it was a gift from the Sorrow. The Sorrow? But he's been... Man, I don't even want to know. Anyway, that camouflage seems to have some kind of special power. When you're wearing it and grab an enemy using CQC, you can drain stamina out of the enemy while choking it and you won't make a sound when you move around. Sounds good. Tell me the truth, did you really get that from the Sorrow? Yeah. Hell, the Major says he's been abducted by a UFO, so why not? What? Snake, what kind of camo is that? It's called Cold War. Volgan had it with him. Cold War camo, huh? Well, I suppose the Soviets won't attack you from behind when you've got that thing on. Really? You mean it's got advantages other than being stylish? Stylish? Yeah. Don't you think so? Uh, sure. Whatever you say. Uh, that's some crazy camouflage you got on. Yeah, it's snake camo. Snake? <laughs> well, I guess it does kind of suit you. Thanks for the compliment. Still, it does look like pretty effective stuff. It's a good all-purpose camo. It should give you a high level of cover against just about any type of background. Snake, what is that stuff you're wearing? I don't know. 
It's called Gakko camo, whatever that means. What? Paramedic? You've never heard of Gakko? Nope. Never. You must live in a cave or something. Well, excuse me. By the way, Snake, that outfit is really killing your camo index. Unless you want the enemy to see you, I suggest you change your clothes as- Why? Why? Because his camo index is- Camo index shmamo index. Uh, hold on now. He's wearing the Gakko suit. Why? Because it looks cute. Snake, talk some sense into her. What's wrong with being cute? Am I the only normal person around here? You're wearing a maintenance crew uniform? With the maintenance crew uniform on, you can pretend you're one of the workers assigned to the Shagohod hangar. But there aren't any maintenance personnel around there. All that outfit's going to do is make you stand out. I'd change to something else if I were you. But people are going to suspect something's up if you suddenly get down on your belly or start punching somebody. Don't do anything that'll draw suspicion. Um, you mean you're not wearing any face paint? You can take off your face paint by selecting no paint from face. Just select no paint when you want to skip wearing any face paint at all. But your camo index is never going to be as high without face paint as it is with it. Unless you want the enemy to see you, you ought to be wearing face paint. So, you're wearing woodland face paint. The woodland paint is most effective in forest environments. It'll work best if you use it when infiltrating forest areas. Wearing black face paint, huh? Painting your face with black paint should give you a high rate of camouflage in dark areas. Wearing the water face paint, are you? Water face paint should be most effective underwater. So put it on when you want to hide in the water. Looks like you got your face painted in desert color. Desert is a brown colored face paint used for operations in mountainous terrain as well. It should let you blend in well in mountain and desert environments. Looks like you're using splitter face paint. Splitter is an indoor face paint. Painting your face with splitter should help you blend in better when you're infiltrating a building. You're wearing snow face paint. Snow face paint was designed for use in Arctic operations. It's most effective against snowy backgrounds. Snake, what's that face paint you're wearing? Kabuki. Kabuki? Right. It's used in traditional Japanese theater. Apparently, it gives whoever's wearing it some kind of mystical power. Get out of here! That's what I heard. From who? Paramedic. Figures. Well, whatever it does, it doesn't make for very good camouflage. Really? Yeah. You should switch to another kind of paint. But I was just starting to like it. Snake, your face paint is... I know. It's called zombie. Zombie? What does that mean? Beats me. Are you serious? Hello, paramedic. You mean you've never heard of zombies? Nope. Never. You guys don't know anything. A zombie is a dead body that's been cursed and brought back to life by a master of black magic. Supposedly, they revive the dead and use them as slaves. It's also seen as a kind of punishment. People who commit terrible crimes can be forced to labor even after they're dead. Interesting. How do you know all this stuff? I saw it in movies. Like White Zombie. Never seen it? Uh, nope. Can't say I have. How about Plan 9 from Outer Space? No. Missed it. You can't just focus on the things you like all the time. You have to expand your horizons, try new things. You guys need to get out more. <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, that face paint doesn't look all that useful. Go ahead and wear it if you want, but I think you should change to... You don't need to change anything. Why not? It makes them look awesome. Doesn't it? Look, arguing about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Snake, you do whatever you want. It does make you look cool. Snake, what's with that face paint? It's called Oyama. Oyama? Yeah. It's the name of an androgynous Japanese deity. Are you serious? That's what I heard. From who? Paramedic. Never mind. In any case, that face paint doesn't seem to work very well. Your camo index is way down. Unless you want the enemy to see you, I'd change to something else. Oh. Okay.
Let me guess. You were just getting to like it. It kind of grew on me. Fine. Get yourself shot. Ah, you're wearing the mask. I made it myself. Pretty good work, don't you think? A while back, they were planning to disguise someone as this one Gru officer and send them in to steal some secret documents. I created the mask for that operation. But then the mission ended up being canceled. And then the Major came and told me to throw it out. Can you believe that guy? But you didn't throw it out. Are you kidding? Tossing a superior quality product like that into the garbage without using it will be an insult to science. So I decided to sneak it into your gear. Okay, but is it really that big of a deal? Of course it is. What's so great about it? Everything. But if I had to pick one reason, I'd have to say it's because it's the first mask ever that can blink its eyes. What about the lips? What's that? Can it open its mouth? <laughs> That's a good one, Snake. <laughs> you crazy, man. I'm serious. Are you even listening to me, Snake? Where's your common sense? Damn! Sorry? Snake Eye. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh, hello there? Paramedic, it's me. Snake? Oh, it's you. For a minute there, I thought you were someone else. Why are you so nervous? You've seen this mask before, right? Yeah, but it looks so cool. Huh? Cool. You know, kind of like a Venusian. A Venusian? I mean, not the crab kind, the other kind. Paramedic, do you really think a guy you've never seen before would suddenly call you on this frequency? I know it sounds ridiculous, but still. What if it was a being from another planet? You can't rule out that possibility. <sighs> Snake, did you take off your uniform? Yeah. What's the matter? Just needed to loosen up. I know there's a naked option under uniform in the camouflage window that lets you take off your uniform. But without a uniform on, your camo index will remain low, and you'll burn through your stamina more quickly. So stop acting like a fool and put some camouflage on now! Did you hear me? Yeah. I see you wearing the olive drab uniform. Olive Drab, or OD for short, is what you might call the pre-camouflage uniform. Plain-colored OD fatigues are still worn by infantry today, but they'll be replaced sooner or later by patterned camouflage. As you can see, it's got no colors or markings on it, so of course it won't make a very effective disguise. You should change into some other type of camouflage as soon as you can. I see you're wearing the tiger stripe camouflage. The tiger stripe pattern has been in use since 1959 among the South Vietnamese Marine Corps. But the pattern originated with the French. It's said that it developed out of the brushstroke pattern, also known as lizard camouflage. It provides some cover in trees and grass, but it's especially effective in earth and mud environments. You should find it useful when you're concealing yourself by crawling on the ground. I see you're wearing the leaf pattern camouflage. The leaf pattern was developed to provide cover in forest environments. The U.S. military isn't the only one using it. Countries that anticipate operating in forest environments are developing various types of patterns, each suited to the vegetation of the particular region. The Soviets and the Eastern European countries all use their own unique patterns. Leaf pattern camo will give you an especially low profile in areas of thick vegetation. I see you're wearing the tree bark camouflage. The tree bark pattern was originally created for use by hunters. Unlike the somewhat abstract design seen in other patterns, tree bark is characterized by a design that resembles photographs of stumps and branches pasted together. It's especially good when you're pressed up against a tree. I see you're wearing the squares pattern camouflage. The squares camouflage consists of a series of squares, each varying slightly in color and shape from the next. It has the effect of making the contours of the person wearing it more difficult to distinguish. You'll find it especially useful against brick and rusted metal backgrounds. I see you're wearing the black camouflage. 
People tend to associate black camo with night operations, but that's not always the case. Wearing all black when you're out in the forest at night makes your silhouette darker and more prominent, and you end up standing out instead. To get the most out of your camouflage, it's essential to choose a pattern that matches your surroundings, even at night. Don't forget that. Snake. What's up, boss? Don't you what's up me. Just what do you think you're doing? What do you mean? What do I mean? What is that camouflage you're wearing? Oh, this. What do you think? Of all the... Looks pretty good on me, doesn't it? Are you out of your mind? You can't wear that in battle. It's like saying to the enemy, Hey, here I am. Shoot me. Well, I'll admit it is a little on the flashy side. Then why don't you... But it does look good on me, doesn't it? <sighs> you don't think so? Listen, wise ass. Camouflage isn't going to do jack if it doesn't help you blend in with your surroundings. Well, I think it looks good on me. Fine. Wear whatever you want. Thought you'd like it. I see you're not wearing any face paint. Selecting no paint for face under camouflage lets you remove your face paint. But without face paint, your camouflage alone won't be sufficient. So if you need a high camo index, make sure you're wearing face paint. Got it? You're wearing the woodland face paint, I see. The woodland face paint is designed for use in forests. It'll give you a high level of camouflage in a wooded environment. Try using woodland paint when you're traveling through the forest. You're wearing black face paint, huh? Painting your face black will raise your camo index in dark areas. If you find yourself in any dark areas, make sure to use the black face paint.